Welcome back, everybody. This week on the Ink Tool, we're taking a look at the 2019 limited edition Pilot Vanishing Point in Tropical Turquoise. Now, normally these pens do come with a medium nib, but as you can see, Ron over at Pen Chalet switched this one out for a broad, and I'm really glad he did. Opening up this outer protective sleeve, we've got a really good inner box. As far as limited editions go, this one's actually, I, I'd say it's a good touch for what you get here. The trim strip and the lettering match the pattern and the color of what you get inside, and I really like that. Now, let's go ahead and open up this clamshell and take a look. First, we're greeted with instructions on how to get to the accessory tray, because, well, well, I'll just show you. Lifting this off, we've got the pen itself, and normally you would go ahead and lift the pen up and you'd get your accessories. With this box, you fold down the front, and you've got a little accessory tray tucked in. Now, in the accessory tray, we have a cartridge and a converter cap. Now, sad trombone, this pen does come with Con 40, so there is that, but let's go ahead and look at the pen. Now, as Video Me fights with the plastic sleeve here, let's go ahead and, oh, there we go. And while Video Me flips the pen around so it actually looks correct, good Video Me. There you go, so there's the uh, indicator that this was supposed to be a medium pen. And let's get that off here and put the box back together. There we go. Okay. So, like I was kind of saying, I really like how the box and the pen matched on the trim. It was a nice touch. And, ah, uh, yes, the good old clicky pen feel. I really do love that about these vanishing points. Now, let's go ahead, take a look on the inside. Here's that Con 40 I was telling you about. And, yes, it's already inked up. Because, yes, I've been using this pen for a few months for the people that have been watching my videos. And once we get that, there we go. Thank you, camera. All right, so look at that nib. That is one thing I love about these vanishing points. If you ignore the Con 40, they come with a really good nib section and nib housing that makes it one of the few high dollar pens that's really hot swappable. I mean, Monteverde does it, I think, on the Monza, which is kind of just a, a cheap entry level pen. But this is for a normal vanishing point, a $150 pen that you can just hot swap whatever nib unit you want into it with an already filled converter. And for me, that's really kind of cool. Also, this little detail right here, I ended up getting pen 1900 out of 2019. I know that probably wasn't intentional. In fact, it definitely wasn't intentional, but it's a nice little detail that really appeals to me. Now, another thing I like about the vanishing point is the overall length and feel of the pen. It's got enough heft that it just sits in my hand very comfortably, and I can go from just holding it, to clicking it, to writing with it, back to clicking it again, and then back to holding it, and it just feels comfortable in the hand. Speaking of writing, though, let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be writing with. For this writing sample, we're going to be using Parker Coink Blue, I just picked this up, so I don't know how it's going to react in this pen, but we'll see. It's going to be a good test because I know how a lot of my other inks react in it, and I'm very interested to see what we get. So for the writing sample, we are in the 68 GSM, Tomoe River Paper Endless Works Notebook. Now, while I was getting everything set up, I did have about two minutes of downtime where I had this pen sitting with the nib out. And with a lot of inks I've tried, that would normally lead to an immediate hard start. But here, 
I'm not getting that issue, which that says something about vanishing points in general. I like the feeds in them because no matter what you do, you're always going to have a good flow. Now, I mean, you could really mess up the nib, like drop it on the floor or something, but out of the box, I've had fewer issues with vanishing point nibs than any other brand, and that goes for the feeds as well. And it really shows here. That leads to a great riding experience, a smooth riding experience, and just something that I'm going to want to carry with me day in and day out, which with this pen, I've actually been carrying with me day in and day out. The only con with the riding experience is the fact that upside down, this nib is scratchy like no other, but that's upside down. You don't often write with your pen upside down, which I don't, so that's negligible here. And that's really going to bring us around to my final thoughts for the Pilot Vanishing Point, or at least this Pilot Vanishing Point. The one thing about the VP is it is such a mainstream pen at this point that you can get it in virtually any colorway you want, and there's even some pen manufacturers that will disassemble your Vanishing Point and create an entirely new body for you. I'm actually tempted to do that one of these days with another VP. But anyways, what we've got here is a good body, nice weight, good length. I love how the clip actually forces me to have a much better grip on the pen. And I know that's kind of a divisive subject for some people. But for me, that clip and that clip position makes the pen for me. Well, that and the fact that it's a clicky pen and when I'm at work, I can annoy my coworkers by clicking the pen over and over again. What can I say? I'm kind of an evil person like that. But overall, I think it, it was a good purchase, and I would do it again in a heartbeat. The color's where I want it. The writing experience is where I want it. And I really can't think of anything wrong with this pen. But that's me. You're a completely different person, and you may think that vanishing points are the worst pen on the face of the earth. But whatever the case... It's all about finding the pen that's right for you, and when you've got a mainstream pen like this that comes in virtually any colorway you can think of, I wanted to wait until I saw the color that really made me go, you need to take my money now. And for me, that was this pen. And the fun thing is, I know that each one of you watching this video right now has probably had a fountain pen do the exact same thing to you. That's one of the beautiful things about this community. But I'm going to wrap up the video here. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, consider doing so by either joining the Discord, supporting the channel over on Patreon. That way I can kind of make up to my dogs for all the time I spend doing videos. And also consider subscribing to the podcast Two Guys Zero Planners that I do with Urban Hafner from FPC.inc. And as always, don't forget to like the video dislike it if that's your thing or you just hate vanishing points. And if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel. It'd mean a lot. That and I'm considering doing a giveaway when I hit 500 subscribers. I'm still kind of leaning towards a bottle of Bungu Box Inc. Anyways, I'll see you next week.